Hey, February 7th, I am back. Apologize on that last uh, episode, feeling pretty down in the dumps, and that's how I felt the next couple of days, and even last night, this morning, getting up, um, back at it. I don't know what else to do, so I'm back at battling uh, to make this film happen. Even the last couple of days, I still kept battling and kept pushing to to make push stuff forward. Um, I spent a lot of time reaching out to people to, to share our casting flyer. Um, so so heavily intense focus on getting the the casting flyer out there. I was reaching out to radio stations, communities, um, friends on Facebook, asking specific people to share those to go to different sites and share it. Social media, having a little bit of um, success with with getting the word out and, and getting some response in still nothing compared to the response that I was hoping to get. And we still have, I know the deadline on the flyer was February 22nd. So if some people are like me, they may wait longer than we probably should to, to audition. And so I think there, there's probably going to be a big f influx when it gets closer to that date. Um, but yeah, I wanted to, wanted to just, just share with you like, not you know pretend that this is such a an exciting and fun business a hundred percent of the time that there are extreme highs and extreme lows and I'm, I feel I'm just coming out from one of those lows that probably happened that stayed with me a little bit longer than it sometimes does just having mental battles in my mind and and how do you fight through those and overcome and I just finished a little bit of spent about a half hour this morning on the script going strategi strategically through. Um, I have some flashback scenes and I went through and I, I organized those and I use Final Draft. Final Draft has some great features where you can it can pull up just the scenes in a certain location or a certain set. And so I did that with my flashback scenes and there's actually seven of them, which like, oh, that's a good number. Seven's a good number. And then I went through each one of those flashbacks because those flashbacks all are basically the same scene and then it's just dividing. It just goes into little bits of that scene. And so by the time we've seen all seven of those scenes through, that are spread throughout the, the full film, we see kind of how that whole scene plays out. And so I went back and strategically, I, like I didn't realize that when I was writing it, but now looking at it, putting it together, I realized like that's what that scene is, is doing to the film. And this is after I've written and everything. So I go back through, I'm writing is rewriting. So go back in. And, and see that structure and so I was able to go in and make those scenes a little more potent, a little more powerful with more purpose and 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 find what those point, points are as I went through each one of those. And I'm really pleased with, with how they are, with helping them tell the story, move the story along and also helping the character's journey because she uses this flashback in the film as that inner voice, that inner strength of like she can do this and this is where she can pull that energy when that strength that power that ability to make the right choice when things get get hard you know and tough in her life and so that's um was fun you know it's fun when those cre those things creatively kind of gel and then make sense with your heart and your mind and that comes together and so coming off a little high with with the script there and so far on this project and i struggling whether it's my own fighting battling my own mind my own thoughts of why this can't work or the negativity or the limiting beliefs that are that I have that I'm trying to overcome and work through and become a stronger character and person of of those whenever I see even outside negative influences or outside people telling me why I can't do this or disagreeing or you know questioning or whatever which isn't always a bad thing but when when all of that comes in when I when I push all through all of that smoke and all of that environment that atmosphere and I get focus and get back into my script the story that I felt so passionate about that when I do that and get in there it comes back alive to me and I like okay this is this is why I want to tell the story this is why I'm going to willing to go through the ups and downs to make this film is because this story is important it's important to me it's important I feel it's it's important for the world to see 
and I hope the world will take or or the individuals that it can help will take the time to to pause and to watch this film and so getting back into just the heart of the story and what I'm working on then all these other things disappear and when I come back out of that script out of that story that little mental escape and away into the story and then back out to reality I'm I'm renewed and so that's another thing pushing me forward like this is this is a good thing that I'm trying to get get told out there and so and sometimes too I always think well the harder something is the greater the reward's going to be on the other side so keeping that in mind um, so that's where I'm going with it today I have I have two phone calls with two tribal leaders Arizona New Mexico and looking forward to those I still have zero people that have committed anything funding wise I've reached out to almost 40 different individuals, organizations, um, have a few no's, a few soft no's that, and others I'm just trying to now help encourage them to make a decision. If it's great, let's move forward. If it's not, let's push this one, you know, you go your way, I go my way, and then we will re reconvene when this film's over and maybe there's a way still to show with the community or help there, but, or, or I'll bring the next project back and it maybe might be a better fit for, for both parties. So, um, that's still the struggle. I literally have now until um, the 29th of February, the rest of this month. So what, three weeks to um, that things, there has to be some financing land. There has to be some resources that, that open up. Um, otherwise my, I've got to find, go back to working. I don't care wherever to make it, to make it happen um, just to provide for my family. So um, it's scary. That's very stressful. My wife and I talked into the night last night just about those those details and and just the reality of this is this is the the business I'm in. This is the work I do, and the uh, this the often not very fun struggles that go with that um, that that balance and balance out the the highs and joys and success that this industry and business can bring as well. There's also the the lows and struggles of not knowing, you know, how we're going to pay our bills next month or, or what have you. So um, Rebecca asked me a question of last night, why this script? Why not some of the other scripts that are on the shelf that I'm working with, the one that's on the board right right here specifically and others? And um, I had to think about that. And even now I'm, I still am thinking about that. But this is, in my mind, this is the, the timing is right for this story, I think. The world is ready for this story. I think there's a need for it that it can do something that can help help change and influence some people's lives for the better. Because um, if this came out in another year or two, there might be other people. There might be people that were that needed to see it that could be benefited by it that that maybe won't be around that it could have helped. And so that's that's the big reason. Another reason is this is the film that's that's doable on a very small budget on with very small limited resources because I can I've designed it and set it up and prepared it to be able to shoot it in a very um, you know close location to home um, where there's a good actor pool there's good um, crew pool and and even with with actors I'm still looking like even travel's not that expensive sometimes to bring him in. So I'm, I'm, I'm determined to get the right actors, the best actors for it, wherever those actors come from. And of course, a lot of lo local crew that are here, but then just other resources that are here. Limited, limited number of actors, um, a very small, you know, a, a rather simple, a very simple, um, hopefully heartfelt story um, that that can can get away with you know not having car explosions and car wrecks and a hundred cast members and such but it's a very simple story so it's designed that it can run and operate and get made on on very limited small resources and so um that's that's where i'm at today the rest of the day it's, it's about 10 a.m is to is to be on the phone to be talking with people going to reach out to more radio stations to try to get the word out continue to get the word out with casting and also funding opportunities of other individuals and communities. So it's not too exciting what I'm doing today, but getting in a ra on a radio station or two, I mean that's a big, that's a big deal. A lot of people could have the opportunity to hear it and find out 
about about us for the first time, about our film. They hear the Touch the Water. They hear that title. So down the road when it comes out and maybe there's some more get on the radio or again or something by chance that people hear that the name of the film and there's some more interest that's, that it's created. Um, so or even actors that have auditioned for it, whether they got the part or not, they've, they're familiar a little bit more with it and have a more of an interest in coming out and, and seeing it and supporting and catching the vision of what we're doing. Um, I spoke with a friend of mine up in, up on the Yakima nation and he called me back and told me all the things personally that he had done to help the film already of sharing with his community of, you know, went through a list of stuff. And I thought this is so, so special, this call of him taking the time to return and report to me of things that he's doing to help, help him. I mean, there's no, I'm not paying him to do it. I mean, his, his win in doing, it, and he, he shared this with me is that he, he would love to see some people from the Yakima Nation on involved with this project in front of the camera, behind the camera. He just sees the value of what it could do with his community. There's some excitement there and, and he gets, he totally gets what we're trying to do. And I've, I've worked with him in the past before on some projects. We showed a film, a few of our films have played up there in Toppenish at the theater there on the Yakima Nation. And, and so he's one of those individuals that um, gets like really understands and gets what we're doing. And so that's another hope with our um, ambassador program is that we can get more like this friend. Um, my friend Roy Dick is his name. Um, get more people that understand what we're trying to do. And then it's easier for people to see little ways that they can help, you know, push the cause forward and help help us to do this, but also help themselves and help, help their, their own communities with truly get catching the vision of what, what we're doing. So that's positive. And there's been a few of those experiences over the last few days, comments on social media that kind of just help. It's not something you want to like rely on that, oh, people are going to feed me and I'm going to keep moving forward. Like you, you plan to go forward by yourself, but in those moments, you definitely appreciate those positive reinforcements that show up at the right time in the right places and and help you just that one little that one little post or that one little call on the phone or a little text that help push me forward I heard from a friend my friend Richard out in Ghana that told me he's following the journey I met him worked closely with him he was he was uh one of our he was a second second AD for me on uh a film Freetown that we we shot in Ghana a few years ago and a good friend very talented skillful it was great working with those little Ghanaian children and such when we worked with him just have good good memories with him and always somebody that could say hey here's what I need you to do and I know he and I would get and go and it would get done um, and so he he just dropped me a quick quick message today and and just said hey I'm following the journey I know it's hard but keep going and so and again there's that connection of all the way across the other side of the world that have a friend that's supporting what I'm trying to do. And at the same time, I'm able to encourage him and maybe hopefully him, him and others are getting something out of following, following this journey. Um, that's what it's about is seeing how we can help support each other and find ways to reach our dreams because as, as he reaches his dream in a way, that's me, me reaching parts of mine as well because I I'm happy and excited for him and him supporting me to help me reach my dream and as we do that others we're, we're helping others you know live their lives f full potential and and just doing things like that so um, keep going keep going it's hard I'm still not quite up the air I'm still coming up from that kind of negative little realm I've lived in in my headspace the last couple of days but I haven't stopped moving my feet. Maybe I've went a little bit slower. Maybe I've had to sit down and rest and fall asleep for a little bit on that trail. But now I've packed my stuff up, moved to, you know, even if yesterday I only got 10 feet forward, today I'm, you know, already half a mile down the trail. But yesterday I still made 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 some progress and, and I hope to do that today. And then a little bit of that, a little bit tomorrow on Saturday and then take the weekend that I can just forget about this project, go into get my spirit back where it needs to be, spend time with family and then ready to hit the ground, hit the ground running really hard on Monday. So thanks for following the journey. Hope you're still with us and hope someday I can share this film with you and then look back and, 
and you'll see all that have a good sense of what what I and others went through to make this film happen so see you on the next one well 6 p.m. I'm calling it good for today uh, been staring at a monitor screen for a long time for many hours um, only had two oranges no it's been a good good day definitely just a roller coaster about two or three o'clock <laughs> I was ready okay I I think I maybe need to get a new career and somehow kind of got back into things and had some success and um, now just mentally ready to, to check out for the night and jump back on a couple hours in the morning on Saturday and then shut down for the rest of the weekend. So I um, had made 31 calls, um, mostly in Arizona, New Mexico, um, still getting a lot of casting flyers out, working directly with communities, with individuals still. Um, had a kind of a radio slash blog interview today that didn't happen. Uh, I'm not sure what went wrong with that. Maybe I, I probably dropped the ball somewhere. But hopefully you can pick that up next week because any any kind of media attention you can get is, is helpful to, once again, to reach an audience that I don't have direct relationships with or connections to that, that others do. Um, so... I'm looking forward to that happening and keep going. It's it's definitely a roller coaster. Um, I have two, maybe three council meetings that I'm going to go present at before the end of February. So looking like some positive things going on, if nothing else. Worst case scenario, I go and, and make, make some new friends and and continue forward. So keep fighting. It's a battle. Catch you on the next journey.